Who are you paying debt to? Debt to none. Who are you in debt to? Debt to none. <laughs> What's up, budget buddies? Welcome to Debt to None. I'm Kim. And I'm so happy that you decided to click on this video and spend a little time with me. For those of you that are my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. And for those of you that are new, and I hope you do decide to subscribe and stay a while because we really do have a lot of fun here. What's in store for today? Savings challenges. Oh my gosh. I love savings challenges and I do a little bit differently here and debt to none. I am a digital budgeter. I use prop money. I just was inducted into the prop money millionaires club by Elisha. Oh. Okay. I just did that because I feel like she's royalty, but I mean, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> You know, that's the fun thing about budgeting. You just do what you do. You make it your own and, and have fun with it. You know, who said budgeting can't be fun? I don't know who said that. I said that in the past, but I was wrong. I'm really enjoying this whole budgeting journey, this debt-free journey. Um, for those of you that are new, I started my journey January 1st, 2022. Um, I started on Instagram. So there are no videos from back then, almost Two months ago, I started uh, my journey here on YouTube, and I am in the process of paying off a total of a little bit over $32,000 worth of debt that I incurred, incurred, pretty sure that's a word, <laughs> because of home improvements. I, I got new windows, new siding, and a new roof. I'm a fairly, I'm a kind of new homeowner, kind of bummed that I went the debt route. Um, even though I was exposed to Dave Ramsey before I bought the house, <laughs> I, I don't follow him, um, his steps to a T actually not very well at all, <laughs> but I do enjoy his debt-free screams on his show. <laughs> My last check-in, I was like $11,700 worth of debt. And so now I'm under $11,000. So I'm 10 something. That makes me really happy. I'll be super excited when I'm under 10,000, which will be very soon uh, before the end of this year. I mean, obviously I got through a lot of it. If I'm saying 32,000 and now I'm under 11,000, I want to thicken up, thicken up. I want to fatten up my emergency fund. I want to concentrate more on saving and stuff like that, as opposed to just throwing everything to debt. So, so let's get with these savings challenges. I'm budgeting, I'm budgeting here. You know, I can't be doing a lot, but I got my little envelopes here and I'm going to be stuffing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven envelopes today. So we're going to do a mixture today of some hands and bands scratch offs. We'll be doing that. And then we're going to be doing some digital download savings challenges that I got off of for the creator. And then we're going to do my very own, <laughs> my rock the shop, rock the shop. I'm so proud. My little, my first baby, my invention <laughs> that I came up with here on YouTube for my channel is rock the shop. Um, it's something that I wanted to do basically to support sm the small businesses on Etsy, as well as for the creator. I didn't say that in my last video when I introduced this whole thing, whatever platform, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be um, specifically to Etsy necessarily. The idea is to support the small business budgeters, you know, here. So I'm going to start with the shops that I'm already subscribed to, the channel here on YouTube. First up for this month is M's Budgeting Paradise. I'm super excited that we will be rocking her shop uh, this month. And then next up is going to be Elisha from Hands and Bands. She does not know that. She knows it now, I'm sure. <laughs> and the reason why I want to do Elisha next, could have done her first, but whatever. Anywho, the reason why I want to get to Elisha shop, because when I was on there, um, initially when I got these scratch offs, I was like, oh man, oh my gosh, there's so, there were so many things that I really wanted, but I used restraint. I was like, okay, I'm not going to just 
jump out there and go broke like my first trip to Etsy, you know, let's calm it down. Now that I have a whole system here and I've got like a formula of how I'm going to be saving this money that I can rock the shops with, I'm like, let's do it. Let's go back to hands and bands and let's just blow all the money we've saved. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So she's next up. And then I haven't decided who's third on my little worksheet because I have room for six shops. Okay. <laughs> All right. So first up, we're going to be uh, stuffing the car maintenance envelope. And that is, there's my car maintenance envelope. I don't know why I put, I'm sorry. Why did I put you over Larry? Don't, don't be blocking Larry like that. So for car maintenance, I got a digital download that we will be using. And that one's from Hands and Bands, the $1,500 car maintenance challenge. I really wanna get on this. Of course, something came up with the car. Again, like this Saturday, dude, that tire is flat, flat. What is this? So I'm like, babe, which, you know, we're already running late for an appointment. And he is like, no, and you know, he's gotta get out. and get that tire off. And it's always a frustration show for him because we lost the stupid lug nut tool. I don't know. I feel like we probably didn't even realize what it was and it got thrown away or either. I, I'll take the blame for that. Oh my gosh. So that was fun. Him trying to get them off without the tool, but he did it. Of course, as a budgeter, that's the first thing that comes into my mind. Why did I start that car maintenance fund? That's, so let's go ahead and and get the car maintenance envelope stuffed with something. So each of these pictures here are worth $50, which is great because $1,500 in a car maintenance fund is a nice amount of money. So let's just jump out there. Let's get it book, buck wild. Let's go with the big bucks because $50, I think in one shot is kind of chunky for me. We need chunky, you know? I just love that word chunky. And I feel like Liz from her whispering it in her videos. I like it, Chucky. It's got me saying it like more than usual. <laughs> All right, so let's do the first picture. No, you know what? We are gonna do this tire. We are gonna do this flat busted tire <laughs> because that looks like my tire. So let's go ahead and color that in. Tire should be black, but that doesn't look pretty. So we're gonna make it. We're going to make it gray. <laughs> we need the tire gray. What? That's, oh, well, that was quick and easy. That was painful. We ain't trying to be cute with the coloring. What do we, do we need to be fancy? No, let's just put a 50 in the car maintenance fund, shall we? Yep. Get in there. This is my very first car maintenance fun stuffing. All right. So I'll know $50 is for the car maintenance. And it's probably like, oh, that's so weird. Like, how are you doing it? Because that's not cash. Well, the reason why it's not cash is because I would like to um, rack up interest, you know, dividends, get dividends back on my checking account. And they're, they're giving me a decent amount i mean for a checking account four percent starting next month so i'm like let's let's go ahead and let that checking account balance just fatten up so i can get you know some good interest or earned interest on it you know i mean my cash is going to just stay in the account i'm not i'm not taking anything out <laughs> not a, i just wanted to fatten up and just do its thing. So for next up is my cushion, which this envelope I'm going to use as like, um, like overage, I guess. So it'll be $3,000 plus whatever I put in here. So that means I have to be extra disciplined. That's what I'm trying to say. I have to be extra disciplined with the spending. 
So I think I can do it. I don't know. It's a challenge. We're going to challenge myself. Okay, so Larry is super chill. I realize there's no reason to get nervous. I'm I'm no longer nervous with the Larry scratch off at all. Was I even nervous? Because it's only 125. I don't think I was. So we're going to go this side and get this guy up here. Oh, do you see that? That is... Huh. Okay, so I said I wasn't nervous, but... $8? Hmm, what do you think? Should we scratch again? Should we scratch again? Hmm. Yeah. Why not? Let's do it. Oh, what an interesting amount. <laughs> Alicia, you're just like using all types of creativity. <laughs> so, it's like, it's so interesting. It's not like, because like my first one was 10. So I'm assuming it's all uh, 10, 5, 20, you know, like simple that fit into 125. So I just didn't expect numbers like that. So that's an 8 and a 14. Okay, that's very interesting. I see what's going on. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, so that's 22. That is so interesting. Thank you so much, Elisha, hands and bands. All right. Um... Oh my gosh. It's, it, these, these funds do stick together, I gotta tell you. You really do. I'm going to need you to move. If you don't mind, Larry. Sweet Larry, baby. Sweet boy. You're so sweet. I wonder if I'm going to stop using these big bills. Oof. They do stick together, though. I got to tell you. Alicia's right. We need sort quick up in here. She has sort quick. I don't. You know why I'm boycotting them? Because they're not um, sponsoring her. That's what we're doing. I, I don't, that's, that's how I feel. I can do that, right? I can be like, you know what? No, I'm not buying you. <laughs> yes, I can. Yep, I'm doing it. So I'm going to use a, I'm going to be like an old lady. I'm going to use a, a, a wet sponge. That's what I'm going to do. So $22 went into the cushion fund. That's fabulous. Thank you so much for shopping, Kmart. Um, next, we're going to do the emergency fund. Okay, so the way I'm going to do the emergency fund with the digital download that I got from Elisha from Hands and Bands, I'm going to use the Pick Me app, the Spin the Wheel, but with the dice. So in the dice category. And so you see, they're like little umbrellas. So I'm going to roll roll the dice spin the wheel and then whatever number that i get i'll count the umbrellas from left to right that's the umbrella that i will use that amount to stuff the envelope so that's how i'm going to do the emergency fund from here on out so we're not going to do anything else we're just going to work our way through this sheet and let's go ahead and spin the wheel Okay, so we will count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's four dollars. Definitely think, oh, goodness, that was fast. <laughs> um, I definitely think I'm going to spin again. What do you think? I think I think I should spin again. Ooh, six. Okay. Okay, interesting. I said from left to right. So let's go from left to right and then drop down. But then shouldn't I go from right to left? So we'll just be like, let's do that, right? 
Yeah, why not? One, two, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that brought me to 10. <laughs> oh, I just messed that up. Look, I want to show you what I did. I went like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. See what I did? I'm not using my pointer today because we'll just be <laughs> so I want to draw all over this. Okay, so that's, I don't mind that one, right? $10. And we're just, we're not trying to be cute with the coloring, but we're not trying to be ugly either. Okay, how about one more time? Yes, I like it. Spin again. And, okay, five again. Don't you have any other numbers around here? Five again. Okay, so then we're going to keep going and then we're going to drop down, right? Exactamundo. So one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take it and I'm going to quit after that. It's a $1. That's fine because then that'll bring the total to 15, which I'm more comfortable with that amount than 14. <laughs> so, okay, fine. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. You're so cute. That'll work. Uh, let's keep track. Uh, emergency fund. All right, 15 for the emergency fund. I feel like this is, that's fine. Open, says me. We're not jumping out too big. Emergency fund's done. They have our job at Kmart. Okay, so home maintenance is next. I feel like, Richard, can you take a break for one second? Okay, so my home maintenance fund, which I'm going to be using. Oh, no, Richard, I need you to come back. <laughs> Probably like, what are you talking about? It's my cameraman on the right side. So we're going to be using the 50 envelope scratch off from Elisha at Hands and Bands. Thank you so much. Hey, let's pick an envelope. Doesn't matter. I'm not nervous anymore. I've decided not to, because this isn't as scary as I thought. I was hyperventilating when I first did this scratch off because I didn't realize it was double-sided. How did I not realize that when it said 50 envelopes? It's not that, it's not that intense. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Well, that's bigger than the first envelope. And this is the home maintenance, which there's always something to do in the house. I actually need a whole new kitchen. 19 up in here? Okay, okay, I see it. Thank you. It's such a weird number. It's okay. You know what Kim is thinking. Oh, she's thinking about rounding up to 20. Breathe, you weirdo. We're going to do it. We, we're rounding up to 20. We are. So, yeah. Why are we doing that? Um, What are you doing? What are you doing, Kib? What are you doing? It's prop money. Like, chill out. Grab, grab a 20. Stop being picky. <laughs> what? Wait. Are we in order? Yeah, I do. I'm so anal. All right. So, because I'm weird, when I get numbers like that, I... I. If it ends in five, is that a rounded number? Or does it have to end in zero? So, look, I don't know what to call my problem besides... It's got to end in a zero or a five for me. <laughs> I, 
gotta laugh. I gotta, I gotta take a second to laugh. Okay, twenty dollars in no home maintenance. <laughs> I gotta take a second to laugh at myself. It's gotta end in a zero or a five for me to be comfortable. I just, as I'm saying it, <laughs> let that sound crazy, and it's okay. Um, and I mean it. I mean exact. I mean every word I just said. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm uneasy <laughs> if it's not it is zero or five. <sighs> yeah, okay. Yep, you're weird. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. I've known you for 44 years and I'm used to it now. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. Next we gotta we're gonna do the taxes envelope. And Taxes is to help my husband, who is self-employed as a personal trainer. He gets paid cash from his clients and he will need to pay taxes. So we're going to do my digital Larry. Larry, oh, Larry. Larry, what do you think today, my friend? What you thinking? It's tax time. What you want to do, Larry? What you want to do? What you want to do? What you want to do, 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 do. Um, it's tax time. Larry knows what's up. He's like, Kim, I know you have to end in a zero or a five. So we going to be, I, right. all right, let's do it. What you want today? Last time you did a 15, let's do a 10. Hello, baby. You're so cute. So my husband told me today, I told him I was doing these savings challenges for his taxes. And he was like, no, I'm not going to need it. I'm a man. <laughs> I can do it myself. I was like, I know you're a man. We got $10. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. I have no idea why I'm doing two fives. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be all fancy up in here. Is that fancy? Why am I ignoring these boys? I think they make me uncomfortable. The two dollars. I'm gonna start using them. All right, ten dollars in taxes. Yeah. So my husband said, "I got it. I can pay my own taxes." I was like, "I was like, okay, sir." Oh, these these. Okay. Oh, you're like, what are you doing? That these dollars feel thick. There's a difference in my prop money over here. One I ordered on Amazon. The other one I got from the big shot <laughs> company. All right. Taxes is done for the day. Thank you. Thank you. Big shot company that says we we supply Hollywood with all their prop money. Oh, well, maybe you do. I don't know what you do. But they have a, a better quality for sure. Okay, thank you very much, Larry. Appreciate you. Love you. <laughs> what was that? I just did $10. We weren't doing too much. Yeah, back to my husband. He was like, let me pay my own way or whatever. I was like, um, <laughs> I'm just trying to be helpful. If he's got it, that's fine. Then that means I got money to use for something else. So no big deal. Okay, next is YouTube. For YouTube is just going to be the playlist challenge. I've already decided where I'm not going to do any other savings challenge for YouTube at this point. So far for the playlist challenge, I went through Melissa's channel at Budget Stuff Save Repeat. And I did all of her playlists uh, minus the one that combined every single video that she uploaded seven playlists so as you see here each playlist is worth ten dollars so that's fantastic so that means in my youtube fund right now right out of the gate we are adding 70 bucks 70 Woo! 70 yes Yes, I'm trying to see. We're not going to use those twos. No, not today. Woo. I'm not, I'm not using sore quick. Every time I even think about it. Not to you, sponsor. Wouldn't it be weird if they could hear us? 
<laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be weird? If, yeah, there's no reason for them to watch this video. $70. And there's no reason for them to care about me, but I don't care. I don't care if they don't care. I'm sticking to my guns over here. 70 bucks. Yes. And let me say, tell you, I need this YouTube fund to get big. So, so even though I have two envelopes, you know what? So I was going to use this envelope, this blank envelope right here for Rock the Shop, but I guess it's not really needed to have its own envelope. Ooh, all right, let's, this is it. I'm excited. I'm using the Pick Me app and we're going to use numbers. I've already set the numbers are going to go from 35 minimum to 90 maximum. So that means the lowest amount that I'll be spending at the shop is $35 and the highest amount that I'll be spending at the shop will be $90. So, okay. And we're only doing this once. That is it. And that is the number that we are rocking the shop with. Oh, I'm being so dramatic, but I'm starting to feel some anxiety because I have no idea. This is for M. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! Woo! You see that? <laughs> M, $72. $72. I don't think that's bad. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't think that's what you get. And what's up? Oh my goodness. Let me go ahead and write that in there. So I know what we rocking with. Oh, let's make it cute. Seventy two for M. Will you stop? Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and color this little bag in because that is M. I don't want to take forever in a day because that's M's shop number and she will be rocked for November. Yes. Okay. This is my first time I get a chance to use the two dollar. Two dollar. Because we're ended in a two, which is unusual and i'm gonna be completely comfortable with that Seventy-two. what's up what's happening over here yay m i mean what that's exciting right or is that just me <laughs> all right 70 and then my two dollar bill hello man youtube is gonna be doing it for November. Well, whoo. Oh, talk about, I'm really throwing some money into these things. We might have to lower those playlist amounts because I have it at $10 right now, but uh, I don't know <laughs> if I should keep that there because Oh, yeah, be come on now. Just in those savings challenges and everything for today is $209. So, I mean, that's <laughs> my Lanta. Thank you so much for hanging out and checking out my savings challenges. I'm so excited for what I'm going to get from M Shop. Thank you so much. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead that subscribe button and stay a while watch me maneuver myself my way through this whole debt-free journey um watch me become a master at budgeting i don't know yeah right i doubt that but yeah join us it's a lot of fun here i keep saying that so hopefully i'll see you next time